Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video. And today we're talking about servers and the digital distribution platform. So right here is, um, this is literally my public server branch. Um, and I made this public server branch right here um, for the simple fact of hosting and contracts. But I just haven't, uh, they, they, don't, they don't come around and uh, I don't have any deals either of hosting. They're all development, marketing, and support stuff. I just haven't gotten a uh, hosting one yet. But each one of these server towers right here is one gigabyte. That's, that's only one gigabyte. And if you're going to open a digital distribution platform or host for somebody else, especially if you're going to do your digital distribution, it's recommended you need 250 something gigs in 1989 for this whole server network to work completely. All right, that's a lot. And in, the, in this game, starting out and getting that going and everything is impossible. In fact, servers are the least of your concern until later on in the game. It's fine to have them like this or um, to have them for your development purposes because they help out with bugs. You get like a 1.6, 1.5% decrease in bugs in uh, your software when you do this. Um, and so an idea of that is uh, right over here. So... In my, in my company, I have a founder team, a co-founder team, basically the two people that worked and got the company going. Um, and this is the founder team office, the founder, the co-founder, right? Uh, this is Exotic Software, and we have two servers right here that are, uh, entry, are bleh, they're connected via the wire mode, and they're the dev servers. And we have our public server. Now, here's one thing. So these, they're big enough to, you know, handle a good amount of, you know, stuff that we're working on. They're, they're not that much. In fact, let's see, how much are they? All right, so the first server, the very small one that you get, 50 megabytes per second. This one's 250 megabytes per second, but they charge you running costs. So the first one, you're spending about $7 a month uh, per megabyte per second. That's $7 for every megabyte per second that's being used in the bandwidth, all right? That's, that's crazy. Then you get four on this one. You get two dollars on this one because it's it's much larger server it's one gig but what you want is you want your server rack or your big server rack these are the, these are the two main you know things that you want to be able to get your digital distribution platform up and running now as of recently and one of the updates recently um, in the beta version of the game uh, you can no longer just open a digital distribution platform without developing it so we go down here click on this so right now these four people these four companies I am paying to basically sell my product and they take a hot amount of fucking cut from each other that's crazy and you can set that here you can accept new deals and you know market that but you have to develop this platform right so we click on develop we have this window it just looks like any normal window and in this case because I have enough devs and programmers that it would take less than a year but approximate bandwidth right now is 188.5 gigabytes per second that's only one and to tell me i need what 150 more servers for this to be completed and only then will i get 56 percent and then on top of that too what are you going to make it as what are you what are you going to do file management and maybe add some library stuff in there some social features boom but then our gigabytes per second goes up. And then if you're hosting something crazy or whatever, if you're host, if you're being a hosting provider for somebody, uh, they could tell you, oh yeah, it's only it's we're expecting it only take like 25 gigabytes per second, um, you know, at full load. And then next thing you know, all your servers are under load. And they're trying to fall back. They can't fall back. They're maxed out. Your approximate bandwidth at that point is now 95 gigabytes a second. It just, it happens that way. So you just got to plan ahead. Man, they can fix that. Look at that spacing. Um, one thing is, is for server fallback, I use the dev server um, in case I maybe I overload it too much because with every update that's working on it, we uh, put a significant load on it. Um, and so it falls back to the public server. But the public server doesn't fall back to anything. Um, and if the public server gets overloaded and I had it fall back to the dev server, Hey, that ain't going to do anything. 500 megabytes a second, that's like two people. It's not going to do much at all. Connecting servers. When you connect a server, you really you just go come on over here. You click on it. 
and then you drag it over and it'll connect. It doesn't matter where you drag it, they all connect uh, individually. In fact, I don't even know how you disconnect them. Oh, there we go, all right. Um, your server zero, server zero uh, so we'll just connect it here, boom, public server. And you connect them that way. That's how I got the dev server set up so we can have 500 megabytes per second for our development projects, and that's my overflow. Now, obviously, when I get bigger and grow bigger and move the company out of this little fucking apartment building or whatever that's, you know, almost full, we only have, what, four rooms left to occupy, and then we'll, we'll move. Yeah, I'll have to set things up more. One thing that uh, you do need to keep in mind is ventilation. These servers will get hot and they will get damaged if you're not having proper ventilation. I got proper ventilation in here. It always needs to be one of these uh, little ventilation air duct fans. Or you can cool it if you have a custom building with, a, uh, with an air conditioning vent, but you have to put a bunch of them in there. Because uh, they do require a lot. So that is, in order to do that, you will need, let's see here. We'll need this little ventilation thing. This is what gives you your cooling and your heat in big buildings. And then you will need one of, uh, let's see here, this roof AC. This has to be in there because once you got roof AC, then you can put these little things around and that'll help you out. But if you don't have roof AC, you can't do anything with this and rooms will just get hot. But that is the basic knowledge to the servers and the digital distribution, at least the basics for uh, the distribution side of things. I haven't gotten up over there and gotten all the information yet, but I will release another video about uh, making profit off your digital distribution at some point. But without further ado, you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys back here next time in a brand new video. Hey everyone, thank you for watching. If you do like my videos, do not forget to like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications for updates on new videos.